Alaska is famous for its fjords, mountains, a large population of salmon, and humpback whales that can sometimes be amazingly hungry. It looks like a good day to spot whales. Marine biologist and filmmaker Rick Rosenthal isn't here for the fish. He's on the trail of a particular female humpback. He finds her alone, traveling along the shore. Every year in April, she comes back to this very bay. It's unusual for humpbacks to dive in such shallow water. So, why is she here? Here she is, right next to the rocks. Rick takes a closer look. Humpback whales have exceptionally long pectoral fins. The flippers of an adult whale can be up to five meters long. That's a third of their body length. They're primarily used for maneuvering, but whales also use them to coral their prey in bubble nets. They surround the fish with a stream of bubbles, rise up from underneath, and whisk the prey into their mouths. A very smart hunting method. But this female has spotted something even better. A salmon hatchery. Hatcheries aren't fish farms, they're salmon nurseries. The idea behind the hatchery is that juvenile fish born here can be released to repopulate the overfished stocks of wild salmon. Wild salmon spend the first part of their lives in streams where competition is hard and many don't make it. Hatcheries try to make sure that enough salmon survive this stage of life. After 6 to 18 months, the fish can be released into the wild. Well, at least most of them. Instead of opening the whole net, the hatchery workers only drop one side of the enclosure. The salmon can swim out, but can also return to the bin in case of danger. The female humpback knows the release times and returns every year. Humpbacks are very smart animals and well known for their ability to learn new behaviors. She blows a massive bubble under the bin to flush out the fish. Rick is hoping to see the whale under the net and puts on his diving gear. No one could have imagined what happens next. Over and over again, she pops up and catches the fish. That's a giant whale in a little swimming pool. But how did she do it? Unseen, the female whale slipped into the net, which is barely bigger than herself. Somehow, she managed to squeeze her 12-meter-long body into a 12-by-8-meter pen. The result? Her very own fast-food restaurant. For her, it's a free, all-you-can-eat buffet. But for the hatchery manager, it's an economic nightmare. There are at least 2 million juvenile salmon in every net. 
with the current market price for wild Alaskan salmon, her quick lunch was worth a substantial amount. But a whale doesn't care about money. She slips softly out of the net, catching the last salmon as she goes, and calmly continues her journey.